Hey there guys, this is gonna be part five of the Shipping Container Shop Project, and today I'm gonna to talk about everything that I've kind of accomplished since the last part. And obviously a few things have changed. Uh, most notably, the awning is finished, the roofing is done. You see I've got a door back there, and I've got most of the interior framing done. Uh, so let me get you caught up on that. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to say a thank you to Ondeline. They are the company that manufactures Ondura roofing panels, and they were able to supply me with all those panels for this project. I contacted them a while ago and told them about the project and, you know, kind of asked if uh, they might want to uh, see their roofing on it. Well, they were happy to partner with me on this, so I just want to say a quick shout out. So without further ado, let's get you caught up on this section of the project and then I'll tell you what is to come on the next part. Adding the awning to this project was really a huge step in making this a really functional workspace. I like to do a lot of projects outside and this will provide a nice shady area to do them with a ton of ventilation. It wasn't too difficult to get up, but I did have to take a little bit of care just to make sure all my angles are uh, perfect before I put all of the uh, rafters or joists up. Once I got everything set in place, I then buttoned down all the brackets and provided a little extra reinforcement on my old pallet timbers. So if anybody ever tries to tell you that working with plywood is easy, uh, they're either number one, really, really strong, or number two, they're just flat out lying. Uh, if you're doing something like this, try to get a partner uh, because these little babies are way heavier than they look on the shelf. My original plan was not to paint this as I really liked the, uh, the cool grayed out look of the old heavy timbers. Uh, but when I was painting all the fascia, I ended up getting so much paint over on everything else. And when I tried to sand it off, it just kind of had a real funky look. So uh, paint it is. Pretty much in any project you end up having milestones and for me one of the big milestones of any project is adding roofing. It kind of feels like it tidies everything up and kind of makes it feel a little more finished and this was no exception. Uh, getting this roofing on was pretty easy. I've worked with this before and it's pretty much just uh, cut and nailed down and just making sure you have all your prep work in place. Now I chose this roofing in gray because it matches the color of my house and it's generally a lighter color which is pretty much always a good thing in the Arizona desert sun. But it's kind of cool to note that you can get this roofing in pretty much any color. I think it comes in like 9 or 10 different colors, greens, reds, tans, uh, but I tend to be more of a neutral a drab guy so grays or tans are usually good for me. Uh, but heck, if I was building a cabin up in the mountains, I'd probably go with green or red. And I'm not sure if I showed it in the last video, but here's some flashing that I had pre-installed where the roofing will actually be sliding in underneath it. It goes in a little over three inches. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I really didn't get any footage of installing this door, uh, but I did want to talk about it real quick because I'm sure some people are going to ask why I used uh, gate hardware or gate hinges for this. And quite simply, it was because I got this old used door from a salvage yard and all of the uh, interior screw holes where the hinges were originally mounted were all stripped out. Uh, so what I thought I would do is just mount some uh, big gate panels here and then put carriage bolts through it to kind of squeeze the door together. It's a metal clad door, uh, but I just thought that was a more secure way of holding it. So that's pretty much how it is. You can see they protrude on this side. I'll probably cut those off. Um, but in case you are wondering, that's how I did it. I don't have handles installed on it yet. Um, and real quick, if you're wondering why there's no handle or deadbolt installed, I actually did have some installed, um, but after I got them installed, I started looking through the package and there was no keys. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take those back to Home Depot and uh, get another set with keys. Um, but anyway, that's just gonna be standard handles, nothing really crazy. Um, and let's look at the interior. And this is what the inside looks like with all of the walls furred out. The lighting really wasn't the best and I didn't want to go grab a light. So hopefully you can see that pretty well, but these are just all two by threes that I've attached to the walls with uh, screws anchored from the outside of the sheet metal um, and then on the floor and the ceiling and pretty much all the way around it's about a 20 inch uh, 16 to 20 inch spacing and then all of these will get uh, insulation in between them the whole way around and then i'm still kind of trying to figure out what i'm going to clad them in well, that's pretty much it for this part. I am very happy with the way the shop is starting to look um, ever since it came from the original reddish pink days, which is what the original container color was. Um, if you are wondering, the temperature difference um, since I've added the roofing has been really drastic. It's pretty comfortable in there, um, you know, versus when it was just the straight metal roof that I had painted black uh, with the open trusses. Um, I think that's one of the cool things about this roofing is, uh, you know, unlike metal, it doesn't conduct the uh, heat or cold very well so it kind of provides a little bit of a thermal barrier um, but uh, so far I'm really happy with it and I'm also happy that I'm going to be working on the interior because the interior is pretty much the last step before I'm actually going to be able to use uh, this shop. So that's what I'm going to do next time is work on the interior. I'm going to put insulation, I'm going to clad the walls in something, I'm not sure yet, and then I'm going to run all the electrical and start hanging lights, fans, uh, different things like this and I think I'm <laughs> losing light as it is right now. So. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I hope uh, this has been kind of informative in case you might be looking to do a similar project and if you're just watching it just to see how it turns out. Hopefully, it is turning out uh, <laughs> in a nice-looking way. And uh, as always, I really appreciate you guys watching, um, and we will see you next time.